What is up, amazing, beautiful people? Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, back at you with another Script Hook V update video. Folks, AB Software updated Script Hook V today, May 28th, 2022. Um, hope everything is going good for AB Software over there in Ukraine. Uh, folks, let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Now, I reverted my files. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to revert your game files, okay? So if you bring up your Steam, by the way, this is for Steam users only, okay? This is not for Epic. This is not for Rockstar or whoever else. I'm so sorry. I don't have those versions. Go check out my boy Criminal Justice and he'll hook you up. Okay, so once you're in Steam, what you're going to want to do, and this is for the folks that reverted their game file and they have been playing, okay? Uh, and you're going to go to your library. You're going to go to your Grand Theft Auto and you're going to right click and you're going to go to properties. Once you go to properties, you're going to go right here to local files and you're going to verify integrity of game files. Takes about five, 10 minutes. Once you do that, you can then exit out. Okay. And let's bring up our main directory, folks. Um, for Steam users, you're going to go to your disk drive that you have your game installed through, through Steam. Program files times 86. Steam. Steam apps and common. You're going to see your Grand Theft Auto folder right here. Go ahead and double click it. I'm going to do mine. I have mine in a different pathway here. And here's all my Grand Theft Auto folders. Now, these are all reverted, okay? These are all reverted to the 2612. But if I double click this one and I hover over it, you'll see it says 2628. So this is the updated GTA. But if I go and try to launch it, it is not going to launch because I do not have the updated script hook V or the updated LSPDFR and Rage installed. We're going to exit out of that. And I wanted to show you this, show you that it, it, my game is not working. At the end of this video, we're going to load in as we always do. Okay, deep breath. Let's get to it. First thing first, please, y'all, please, please, please heed this warning. If you are on the 2628, you're going to go to your desktop, right click, select new. Select folder. You're going to type GTA 5 2628. Enter. We have another update coming within a month or so. And you're going to be stuck without being able to play again unless you do this part right here. We got our 2628. You got four files that you can see right here. One, two, three, four. They got the green V's. Hold your control key and select all four of them. Okay, you see that? Left click, drag them right here, drop them in right there. Okay, now we open this up. You can see we have all four files. So now in GTA updates, and we don't have a new script took V, we can revert using these files right here. Please, folks, do this step right here. Once you have that, you're just gonna drag them on over and keep them in safekeeping somewhere. Next thing we wanna do is before we install LSPDFR, this is a tip that is going to save you many, many minutes, possibly hours. I don't know. Double click your LSPDFR folder and you got your keys I and I right here. Okay, so double click that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, you know what? Just take it and we can copy it right out to our desktop. Same thing with the LSPDFR one. See that? Copy them both right out to your desktop. Keys, LSPDFR. If you're like me, you meticulously went through all of these and, and set them up to exactly how you want it, okay? If you install the new LSPDFR, this gets overwritten and you gotta start all over again, okay? So, there we go. All right, let's back out to the main directory front page, which is this right here. You got your plugins folder and all that. And let's minimize this for now. All right, click the first link down below that says LSPDFR. And we're going to download the LSPDFR 0.4.9. All right, it's going to bring you this page. Click to download this file, then scroll on down. Free and download. And we want the manual install. Okay, you want the manual install. So download that. Should be pretty quick. LSPDFR doesn't, doesn't take too long to to download there we go so it's going now while that's downloading click the next link that says script hook v 
that will bring you to this page right here. Oh, LSPDFR is done downloading. Let's minimize that. Okay, it's gonna bring you to this page right here. And you see that right there, 2628. The new version just came out today. Download right there, not the SDK. Download this one right here. Once you click download, these ones are super fast, okay? I'm gonna exit out. Don't exit out, I'm gonna exit out because I already have it downloaded. All right, once we have those, we're ready to go. We're ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring that main directory back up, okay? Now remember, you've got your LSPDFR keys and in, in LSPDFR INIs right here. That's what we want. That is what we want. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and start with the LSPDFR. Bring up the LSPDFR WinRAR and let's get to it now you could do one of two things you could bring these out to your desktop or you could go double click the plugins folder here i'm sorry the lspdfr folder you see the lspdf you could double click that and you could just remove these out of your out of the out of the download out of the winner you could just right click them and delete the files before you install it but Let's just go ahead and install everything that we got to install. We're gonna highlight everything here, except licenses. Um, let me just make sure that there's nothing else that we really don't need in here. But I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, so you wanna highlight everything except the licenses. Now here's our Rage plugin hook EXE right here. We don't have to go to Rage anymore, it's right here. All right, once you got everything highlighted, you're gonna drag right here to this buffer zone. Don't highlight anything like that. You wanna drag those files right here, drop them in. And this might take a few seconds. There we go, and we wanna replace all files and let it do its thing. And boom. Okay, so we can get rid of our LSPDFR WinRAR. Now, go ahead and double click your LSPDFR folder. And there's the keys and LSPDFR right there. Take these two files, drag them, drop them, replace. You now are on the updated LSPDFR, but you have your, you have your key binds that you spent so much time in setting up. So we're good to go there. And now we can delete these off our desktop. There we go, and let's go back once. We're back on our main directory front page. Again, make sure you got this buffer zone. Let's bring up our script hook V. WinRAR. You're gonna double click that bin. And you only need two here. Don't, don't, I don't, well, you can use Native Trainer if you want, but I don't, I don't use it. I use Simple Trainer. Didn't put eight, script hook V DLL. Those two files, drag them, drop them on in, replace. Boom, that's it, we're reverted. We are reverted, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what we can do here um, is now click that LSPDFR folder again. And this LSPDFR configurator, click that. It's gonna bring up this little box right here that's gonna say next. Uh, show license, it'll bring up the Rage plugin hook license. You read it, yada, 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 and accept, and uh, just say, do it for me right here. Boom. And then LSPDFR has been successfully installed. Okay, so now we can exit out of, I believe we can exit. Well, first off, let's go, let's go into our main directory, okay? Now we got this shortcut down here. What I like to do is I'll, I'll unpin it from the taskbar and I'll go into my reverted copy. Okay, if I hover over, we're still, we're still good we should still be on the 2628 which we are now keep scrolling and get that rage right there and send it to your desktop create a shortcut and take this one and uh bring it down into your taskbar and we can delete that now we can exit the main directory and folks let's hit that rock star now it's gonna bring up um a first time initialization um and and that's what we want it to do i like to set this to six thousand Plugins, make sure all your plugins are selected. And under game settings, 
uh, advanced settings, actually. I like to disable the custom loading screen. Um, I don't know. I just like it, you know. Some people like to see all the plugins load in at the loading, but I just like to disable it. Now, under game settings, go right here to backup game version. Click that and click backup current version. Just back it up, y'all. Just back it up. As Dangle would say, back it the up. And it just takes a few seconds, but it will save you days of not being able to play LSPDFR, ladies and gentlemen. It's very important. So now if I go to my revert game, you can see I am on the active 2628 supported. See that? It's a beautiful thing. Now I can save and launch. Okay. And it might pop up some things that's, that will say, you'll see it. It's going to pop up like that. Yes. And I think there's one more thing that might pop up or it might just load into the game. This first time loading in after updating, I don't know, it might take half a minute to a minute longer than it usually does. Um, but it will load into the game. It might have to do like the Rockstar Game Services again because we verified our game files. So um, if you're GTA updated and you have not been able to play LSPDFR since, you don't have to verify your game files like we did at the beginning of the video through Steam. But it doesn't hurt, right? Um, so we're done. If you don't want to watch anymore, you can go play your LSPDFR. You are ready to go, y'all. But I like to load into my game so I can show y'all that it works. And like I said, this one, uh, it just takes a little longer the first time you're loading in. So there we go. It's loading in my game. As you can see at the top of the screen there, my reshade is loading up. So folks, if, if you say my game doesn't work, it broke my game, you got something else going on, you've seen it. There has been no cuts in this video. Okay, there has been no cuts in this video. This video was continuous. You saw that I went from not being able to go in because I was on an unsupported version to going in. This is not a fix all video. This is just an updating to the current GTA version LSPDFR and script hook video. Okay, so if you're getting other messages on why your game's not hooking, I'm, I'm sorry, there's gotta be another video in my plethora of videos that, uh, that I have out there that might help you, including the pack file. A lot of people, if you're crashing upon loading, check your pack file, see if you got pack file limit adjuster, heap adjuster, and a game config, okay? Those 90% of the time will fix a crash upon loading. go i'm gonna take a sip of my red bull here while she loads in <laughs> and look at that it's it's loading up it's gonna load up guarantee you not a, it, i guarantee it's not gonna crash we're gonna load right in ladies and gentlemen and because you did that little tip where we pulled out the INIs, the LSPDFR, and the keys INI from the LSPDFR file. You don't have to go into your game, and you don't have to change up all your keybinds, your pullover, your traffic stop, your uh, whatever other keybinds there are in there. Your preload all models, your flashlight thing, um, your chase cam stuff, all that is now in your reverted game because we pulled out those INI files and put them in. See, LSPDFR didn't update anything with those INIs. They just updated their game to be compatible with the 2628 GTA. So, we're able to use those 2612 INIs in the 2628 version. I hope I'm making sense. But there we go, folks. We're loaded in. No crashes. We can force duty. And I'll do it just for, uh, just for the sake of showing you that it works Folks, get back out there on patrol. Go. There we go. And we're loaded up. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope this video helped you. If you're new here, please consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe and ringing that bell. Only if you feel I deserved it. At the very least, could you please just give it a thumbs up? The more thumbs up this video gets, the more people it can help. Just like it did with you.
Also, please create that GTA 5 2628 folder and drop those four files in that we did. It will save your life when this next update comes in the end of June, early July. Till next time, everybody. I love y'all so, so much. Be safe. Be healthy. Be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. Later, y'all.